In this Race Grooves presentation, we're going to take a look at the Hot Wheels Track Builder Spiral Stack Up Starter Set. These are the kind of products that I really like. Starter sets, that's because they connect to other sets. If you notice, it's got these blue pieces. They're stackable risers, so you can make your setup nice and tall. Over here on the side, it comes with nitrium. I think that's nitrium. And then you can see how this young man has a setup. And then he changed it over here. He has a triple, and then he used a single over there for his uh, curve. I wonder if I'm going to like this as much as I like the Track Builder 5 Lane Tower Starter Set. It's really good. It's a nice tower. I use it for my downhill races. It's a centerpiece to a Track Builder layout. On the back of the box, you can see they got it right in the middle of all the other stuff. Who's this guy right here? Ah, look at all these neat things we got to look forward to. Fan Man. I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to review that one. He looks like it'll be fun. Here we go. Oh, the stackable risers. I thought they were going to be blue, but they're actually like an aqua color. You know the track builders connectors are blue, so it's not blue. It's aqua. Let's see what else. Wow. Lots and lots of stuff. Let's get busy. While they show a lot of stuff on the back of the box, those are all accessories. You're actually going to get what's in this image here. You do get a sticker sheet to decorate your track parts. I've applied these already. This part here, I'd like to give you a little tip. In the picture that they show in the instructions, they have this part. They have this part right here closed. You know what? It's kind of hard to get the sticker down behind that gate if you have it down the road piece. You're supposed to get the sticker down up against that wall, but it, it's kind of tricky. So if you pop this part up, pop this part up. Now you can get lower. This is out of your way. Now I can just lean down in here, put it down along the bottom edge. One side, smooth it across. There you go. That looks pretty good. The base of your spiral stack up is going to get little stickers right here. Really, really tick tricky for me. Uh, maybe it's my big hands. Maybe you, you'll be okay with smaller hands, but this is the tip that I use. I don't know if it'll help you or not. It's kind of hard to get it in there. Take my sticker, barely touch it. Then I get the pencil and I just kind of hold it down into place once I get it where I want it. Once I can get it there, I hold it here. Now I can let go. I can see it straight. Take it, lay it down, and that works pretty good. If you want to be safer, you can use a Q-tip because then it won't have a pointy tip. This way, get it in the corner, hold it down. Oh, I'm a little far away. I'm a little, just a little bit away from the edge, but that looks pretty good. Nobody will know the difference. Looks good, nice and smooth. You'll find two different types of blue connectors. This one with the circle in the middle, this is regular track builder's connector. That's what you're gonna use to connect your track. You can see the circle goes in the oval. The other one is actually to connect the base make the base you're going to double it up and it'll make it sturdier so you have a better base if you want to make a taller tower you, you don't want to you don't need to connect these if you're not making the tower the full height and if you want to use those as track connectors you can use them as regular track connectors they work just fine they're the same dimensions i already put together three of my risers here's the fourth one just squeeze it together put it in the base these pieces are going to support your structure because right now, without it, it's a little wobbly. Let's go ahead and hook it in. This goes in the base. This part's going to go in the side. See, that gives it more structural integrity. And these are going to be the pieces to support the track. When you put the track on, this first one here, according to the instructions, goes up there. They have side launchers that attach to the curves of the track. When your car is coming down the hill, it's going to hit this. And you see how that opens? You'll have another car parked here. And see how he's going to get out? These don't snap onto the side of the track. In order to attach these, you want to slide them into this little slot right here. Put it in, in the side of the track. And then put it in the position wherever you want, depending on your space in your room. 
The instructions said to slide this on the end of the track before you put it together. But when I was putting the rest of it together, I bumped this and it came right off. Well, if it comes right off, then you know what? You, know, you can just slide it right on the side of the track like that. Now the set's a little wobbly. That's why they come with support beams. Take this, pop it in, pop it in, and then this right here goes right in the bottom of the connector between the two pieces of track, or I should say the curves. They recommend that you have these launchers close to that to give it more stability because you're going to be connecting to this. What's interesting is on the box, look, they don't have any of the support arms in place. Maybe it's just because it looks better without them as far as a picture is. But for structural integrity, you're going to want to have all your support beams in place. Nitrium's going to be the one coming down the track. He's going to hit the trigger and he's going to set loose Stingrod 2. Here's the launcher at the top, just like other Hot Wheels track sets. Let's get our car in place. Are you backwards? Yeah, I put him in backwards. And he's going to come down the track, come down that curve, and here is where we're going to put Stingrod 2. I want you to notice that this is set on the track at an angle, right? The track's coming down like this at a slant. So when you hook this to the track, it's going to be kind of a little bit crooked. And when it's leaning to one side, you're going to notice that it's kind of leaning a little bit. Not a whole lot that you can do because of that twist right here where it's hooked on. Set, go! Wow, that worked really well. Stingrod 2 came down. He sat right on top of the roof. Nitrium came around. Boing! Now I'll reset. I'm going to let Nitrium be the one to land here. Let's put Nitrium. He's going to be the one to do the flip. Stingrod 2 up top. Set, go! Uh-oh, Stingrod 2. He might be a little tall for the curves. Let's try him again. Set, go! Ah! Carbonic says he'll be glad to help with the demonstration. Oh! Carbonic got stuck! Nitrium in the starter's block. He's going to come around. There's his path coming around the curve right there. He's going to hit the trigger, set loose carbonic. Carbonic's going to go down that way. Then when Nitrium continues around, he has another car to set free. There's Stingrod 2, and he's going to go down that path right there. If you have the Track Builder Tower, this will give you an idea how much taller this new spiral stack-up is than the starter set with the five-lane tower. Before I do this, I know he has enough track to have enough speed to set him free, but does he have enough track between here and here? To gain enough speed to set him free too? We're going to find out. Set, go! Go! Oh! I forgot to put the roof down, but it didn't matter. Nitrium didn't have enough speed to get through to finish the stunt. Okay, reset. I already put Stingrod 2 back in his spot. Come on, Nitrium. Set, go! Well, that didn't work. Carbonic flew off the roof, and once again, Nitrium got stuck. Let's try a heavier car on top. We're going to use Muscle Tone. He seems like he's a little heavier. Everybody in position. Set, go! He got stuck too. Maybe Carbonic can help Muscle Tone get down the track. Oh, come on! Who's going to help everybody? How about Speed Slayer? Boom, boom! Everybody's getting stuck in the trigger. Now let's try a couple other cars. We have 24-7 in green and 24 hours in red. 24-7 is going to take the starting block. We're going to keep Nitrium in the demonstration since he came with the set. And here we have 24 hours. Hopefully it doesn't take 24 hours for me to get this track set to work perfectly. 
The other participants are still watching Carbonic, Stingrod 2, Speed Slayer, Muscle Tongue. They're hoping that this works too. Set, go! Ah, once again, not enough speed to make it through. Get stuck. Why don't you come over here with me and see what I'm seeing? This way you know I'm not doing anything funny. Up top, 24-7. Da-da, da-da. You got it. Let's go. Set. Go. Just get stuck. He gets pinched right there. These things, they don't move far enough out of the way. I have to push to bend it. But see, the car is only going to push it this far. Hmm, that's not good. Look, even when I set him free, he got stuck again. And you might think, well, maybe you didn't set it up right. Look, at, if you look at the box, there's the one right there. So I have it right here, coming straight out the other side. That's right there. And look where they have it. Not only do they not have it coming out the back, so I have it getting more speed. I have it going all the way halfway around and then out this way, right here, all the way halfway around and out. According to that picture on the box, they have it just a quarter turn. They have it coming right here. Well, if it's not getting enough speed coming this way, uh, I'll go ahead and put it here one time. But I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's going to work. This time we have the trigger set up just like it is on the box. Let's hope it works. I keep putting them in backwards. Set, go! Not only did he not make it through, he didn't even release 24 hours. I don't know if you noticed, but I have a nitrium right here. And there's also a nitrium right there in the box. I bought two boxes and I tried them both and I had the same problem with both of them. So I'm not so sure that these work very well as designed. But let's see how well the gravity drop works if you use it without them. Even though these didn't work well in the two boxes that I bought, if it works as an accelerator ramp to get into your track builder setup, I would be happy with that, to be honest with you. Set, go! Check it out. Only three risers. Now 24-7, he's going to come down the curve, come around the back. He's got a nice little circle. He's going to come around. There's nitrium on the flip. What is this? It's my track tower. See, I can connect my other track builder sets. I'm going to push the plunger on top. 24 hours is going to come down. And there's his nice little runoff. By the way, these little pieces here, see that hole? That's why you put it right here. That's how they attach. That's how I got this piece to attach right here. It's going to hold it into place. Now, while this didn't work, uh, I think it was supposed to work better than it did. You know what? You can just let the car go yourself. We might need a little help. Are you ready, 24-7? Set, go! And 24 hours, plunger, go! You're so fast. If you like Track Builder, I've done more reviews. Look in the description for my Track Builder playlist. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.